Today I'd like to show you how to use the Schneider Electric Easy Selector tool when selecting load centers. We're on the Easy Selector tool website and so we're going to go ahead and select load centers. Before we get started, let's take a look at the left side of this screen. In this screen we have some useful links like our frequently asked questions, our cross-reference tool, our documents and download center, we also have some helpful information to get you started. These questions are designed for you to be able to get information from your customer so you can make your selections. If you scroll down a bit further, we have some terms and definitions. These are especially handy if you're not familiar with the Schneider Electric terms and definitions for load centers. Now we have our catalog number construction grid, as well as some additional information as we scroll down. We also have a link to our four minute video on how to use the product selectors as a whole. Now let's look at our features. We have our home line, our QO with plug on neutral, and our QO format load centers. You can select indoor, outdoor, single phase, three phase, the type of main that you want, the main rating that you want, as well as your branch circuit breakers. Sometimes the cover is included with the load center and sometimes you have to order it separate. This is all information as you start making your selections, then the filter will filter out the items that you can and cannot select. We also have special application load centers as well as special door features. Let's go ahead and make our first selection. We're going to select a QO load center and we're going to start with our indoor. Now let's select single phase and then we're going to select circuit breaker. Today we're going to select the 200 amp circuit breaker and now we're going to select a 30 circuit load center. You'll notice that it says 30 30 or 30 40 and these are areas where you have the opportunity to add tandem breakers but today we're doing a 30 30 which takes all standard breakers. The flush mounted box was the only option so that's what we've selected. Now you can see that it starts generating some part numbers for you. We have an opportunity now to start making our breaker selections so why don't we go ahead and do that. The type of breaker that we're going to start with is our standard QO circuit breaker. We're going to select 20 amp one pole and 22K AIC. As you'll notice here, you have an opportunity to select the QO 120VH. Now you can go and scroll up and down to select the quantity of breakers that you'd like to have. Once you've done that, we could go ahead and add another breaker, and this time we're going to select our QO switch neutral breakers. We're going to select 50 amp, 2 pole, and there you see there's another part number provided. Let's go ahead and select that. Now we've made all the selections that we want, except for we want to go ahead and just add two of the QO switch neutrals. And now we can come down to our accessories and we want to select one PK18 GTA. Once we've made that selection, we want to go ahead and add it to our list. Here we have a complete bill of material that's been added to your list.